everyone, and welcome to another Pokemon card video! Today we're going to be opening three of these Volcanion EX-10s. I don't remember what set's inside these. It's the same thing that the Pikachu had that we opened before. We opened six of those Pikachu ones. Because I just bought a case of these things, and it came with three Volcanions, uh, three of the Magirnas, and six Pikachus. So, let's go ahead and open this dude up. We'll go ahead and see what packs are inside. And, uh, well, see what pulls we get. Yeah. Oh yeah, we'll also take a close-up of the Volcanion itself, of course. So let's go ahead and pull that dude out. By the way, a lot of people have been asking for an update on that Sableye we had. Well, it's not there anymore. We had a Sableye back in the corner over there, and it was underneath a book. I, I already mentioned this in a video, but just to, just because I keep getting asked, I'm gonna go ahead and update again. Uh, I, I took it out. It was totally bent still. I think I need to put more books on it, more weight or something like that. But anyways, here we've got a Volcanion EX from the, uh, well, just the promo card here, which is number 173. And the cool thing, it's a dual type, dude. It's fire and water, which is super awesome. So that's a very cool dude. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, use these Charizard sleeves some more. I'll probably just go ahead and use those until we run out, and I'm just gonna sleeve up all of the reverse hollows that we get. Here we've got a uh, code card. That one's actually gonna have a deck. It's not gonna have any packs, I don't think. That should have a deck inside of it. And it looks like we're going to have two Steam Sieges, one Ancient Origins, and one Primal Clash. Okay, speaking of Primal Clash, I decided that's what we're going to be opening next week is that Primal Clash booster box that I've kind of had just sitting back there for forever now. It is the third booster box of that set I've opened, but it's pretty much because that's just such a big set and there's a lot of cards that are really hard to pull, so I'm trying to get them. I don't really like just buying cards. I don't really like just buying single cards. I will sometimes if it's like a card that I could never pull, uh, like if it's a, for example, like a pre-release card that it's just not something you could actually pull. In that case, I'll buy it, but I prefer to uh, actually pull my cards if I can, within reason. I'm not going to buy an entire booster box to try to get just like one card or something like that, but there's the second code card right there, and let's just go ahead and dump these packs out. And real quick, let me just go ahead and edit ahead, I'll open up this third tin. There's so much plastic up here, dude. It's, it, like, static electrosizes, or I don't even know how to, what, what you would say there, but static electricity, it's like sticking to my arm, man. Alright, here is the uh, third Volcanion. Did I forget to sleeve up the second one? I did! Okay, let's go ahead and sleeve up both of these guys real quick. Where are you? Where's the opening? I found it. Sometimes finding openings is difficult for me, but I got it this time. So here we've got not one, not two, but three Volcanion EXs. Of course, if you're actually playing the game, you can use up to four, so I don't really have a playset. That's what they call having all four, they call it a playset. I don't have four of them, but I also don't really play too often, so it's not really... Not really a big deal, so there's that guy. And also, it's pretty rare that you would use four of the same EX, unless it's really, really good or really central to your tactics. But okay, let's go ahead and close this dude up, and let's get to these packs. We've got 12 packs in total, so quite a bit. Not like 24 like it was with the Pikachu video, but I don't know. There, There's a lot of channels that open mass amounts of stuff. I don't know, I, I've tried it out. I feel like for me, like between five and 10 packs is kind of the sweet spot. You know, that's that's kind of the amount that I like to open in each video. So I, I used to do like blister packs on their own where I just do the three packs. That feels a little bit weak. So blister packs will do two, but once I get past like this mass amount of stuff that I bought, I'll probably go back to just doing like five to 10 packs a video. Anyways, here we've got an Ambipom. We've got Halucha and Anorith, Hopip, Nosepass, Nidoran Mail, we got Litleo and Sneasel, our first reverse holo is a Krogunk, and wow, we got a holographic out of our very first pack with an Eveltaler. Eveltal, I, I always said Eveltal, but people don't like that pronunciation, so I don't know if it's Yveltal, or I don't know, I, I'd have to go uh, try to find some official source on that pronunciation there. Okay, still working through the first tin. I'm gonna, like I usually do, I kind of separate things so we can see which tin was the best. I think the one we're opening now is technically the third tin that we unboxed or took the uh, packs out of, but that doesn't matter too much. Here we've got a Flappy and Fletchender. There's Pokemon Ranger, Ponyard, Fungus, Rufflet, Litleo, Meryl. Okay, we got a break out of this one. We got Xerneas break, very nice, and we got a Galvantula. So we got a break and a holographic already just from these first two packs. Let me organize my desk a little bit. I keep forgetting to do that, so I'll move some stuff aside here. Let's go ahead and put the break right there. Let's put the reverse hollow here, and we'll put the hollow right there. There we go. Okay, the next one is an Ancient Origins. Keep in mind, Ancient Origins does not have breaks, so we've only got two packs per, per tin here that have a chance at a break. So considering that, pretty lucky that we got one. All right, here we've got a Flash Energy and Sableye. There's Lucky Helmet, Baltoy, Persian, Magikarp, Larvesta, Spinarak, 
Reverse Hollow Combi, and a Metagross. All right, well, we didn't get another holographic that one. Kind of a dud pack, but that's okay. We've got our Combi right there. And of course, we've got Primal Clash. I think Primal Clash has four secret rares, and it's not like Evolutions where they're actually pretty easy to get. They're like one in 72 pack rarity secret rares. So I have only got one of them, and I'm pretty sure there's four. The reason there's so many is because in Japan, uh, Primal Clash was actually two separate sets that they combined for this one. Here we've got Linoon, there's Kyogre Spirit Link, Kakuna, Rhyhorn, Volbeat, Sfeel, Staryu, Clampearl. Okay, we get a Reverse Hollow Rare Rhyperior Ancient Traits, and we get a Swampert Holographic Ancient Traits. That is a pretty awesome pack right there, dude. I think Primal Clash was the set that introduced these Ancient Trait cards, and I think they're so awesome. They're still one of my favorite special types of cards. I'm super glad that they decided to make these. So there is that looking awesome. We'll put the holo there, reverse holo there, and that's it for tin one. So we got two hollows and a break. Pretty good. Let's go check out the second tin here and see if we can get anything a little bit better. Or maybe not quite as good. We'll just have to see. Not expecting to get any more breaks out of this one, but let's find out. We've got a Persian, Flappy, Driftblim, Apom, Larvesta, Dino, Shellos, we have a Mankey, and Reverse Hollow Nidoran Male, so no break out of that one. But we do have a Holographic, wow, we got a Shiftry, dude. I don't know why I said wow, so weird. Wow! We got a Holographic Shiftry, though, so three Holographics already, we're only five packs in. So we have more Holographics than we have non-Holographics, basically, let's put it that way. Okay, let's go to the second Steam Siege pack for the second tin here. There's that dude, bam, and let's check it out. We've got a Tangrowth. There's Gardevoir, Spirit Link, Lampent, Sneasel, Mantine, Mankey, Yanma. We have Apom, Reverse Hollow, Captivating Pokepuff, and we've got another holographic. Wow, dude, we've got Ampharos holographic as well. That is crazy, man. Six, uh, six packs in. We've already got. Is it three hollows or did we get four? We got four hollows. So we got four hollows out of six packs, which means two thirds of our packs so far have had holographics. That's kind of backwards. It should be one third, not two thirds, but okay. Let's go ahead and check out the Ancient Origins pack for this tin. Didn't have a good Ancient Origins pack in the first tin. Let's see if this one can do something a little different here. We've got a Gloom, Ace Trainer, Rotom, Quagsire, Spinarak, Wooper. We have Gumi. Heck yeah, dude. We've got Eevee. Reverse Hollow is an Entei Rare, holy crud! And we've got QRM EX, gosh dang, this is a really good tin, dude! So we got the Reverse Hollow Rare, we've got two Holographics, and we've got a gosh dang EX as well. That is a crazy tin. All three packs of this tin have been good so far. Let's see if we can finish this strong and actually get four good packs from one tin. Oops, stay back there, Entei. Chill, bro! Okay, let's check out the Primal Clash one here and see what the last pack of tin number two has. There's code card for that guy. And let's see what we got. We have a Groudon Spirit Link, okay. There's Masquerade, Gardevoir Spirit Link, all kinds of Spirit Links in this one. There's Soul Rock, Drillbur, Nosepass, Volbeat, Spinda, Reverse Hollow Nidoran Female. Do we have four good packs? Not exactly. We got a Breloom right there. Okay, so Primal Clash not treating us so well. That's okay, because we've got a booster box coming up, so hopefully we'll get some better stuff out of that. But still, that was a really good tin. We had three good packs out of that one. Let's check out tin number three here and see if we can somehow get an even better tin. We'd have to get two EXs or an EX in a break for this to be better than the other tin, in my opinion. Here we've got Azumarill, Lampent, we've got Ambipom, Shellos, Mantine, Clink, Mankey, we've got Fungus, Reverse Hollow Amoongus, is that a rare? It is, okay, we've got a lot of Reverse Hollow rares as well. And we've got Talonflame, not off to the best start for this tin, but the Reverse Hollow rare, I'll take it, dude. Let's see the second Steam Siege pack, so this is our last chance at getting a uh, break card out of this one, so let's see if we can do it. There's the code, and let's see what we got. We have a Halucha, there's Tangrowth, Special Charge, Chimchar just nomin on some gears. We've got Nidoran Mail, Clauncher, Fletchling, Hopip, Reverse Hollow is an Armor Fossil Shelled on, so we don't, or Shield on, so we don't have any, uh, any breaks out of this one. But we do have Full Art Professor Sycamore. Holy crud, dude. I'm pretty sure this is a pretty valuable card as well. Not that I'm like a, a collector that really cares too much about the value, because I don't really sell my cards, but still, I'm pretty sure this is a Fairly valuable card. Not like a Shaman EX, not like a $60 card, but I'm pretty sure it's... I, I'm pretty sure it's double digits at least. 
Anyways, that is awesome. Let's go ahead and set that guy down. We've got two more packs to go. I think that's probably the best pull we've gotten, is that full art right there. So this, this tin's looking pretty good. I think all three of these tins are pretty decent, actually. But let's check out these last two packs. We've got a Vaporeon, Porygon 2, Paint Roller, we've got Combi, Malamar, we've got Baltoy and Unknown, there's Magikarp, and we've got a Vespa Queen Reverse Hollow Rare Ancient Traits, wow, and a Reg Ice as well. Not the best pack right there, but that's a cool Vespa, I don't know why I said Vespa Queen again, I always say that dude, it's Vespa Quen, Vespa Quen. Okay, we got one pack left with Primal Clash, let's see if we can actually get a good Primal Clash pack out of this video. There's that guy. Why does it say F pup? I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and uh, check this one out as well. We've got a Grovile. Love that dude. I would love to see a Sceptile EX here. We've got Shield Energy, Kakuna, Mudkip, Phoebus, Illumbise, Hippopotas, Slugma, Reverse Holo Gardevoir, Spirit Link, and we've got Lunacolo. I guess we're not going to get any good Primal Clash packs out of this one, but overall, those are some pretty good pulls, dude. We got the four holographics. I almost got through a recording without it stopping. I'm trying to go faster through these videos so I don't have so many uh, recording interruptions. But anyways, here we've got four of the holographics, which we all got pretty early on in the openings. We got the EX and the one full art. We got the one break with Xerneas break right there. And of course, we got all of Dem reverse hollows. We got all these guys, a few of which were rare. We actually got a pretty good amount of rares. Let's see, we got one, uh, there's two, Three. I think we got yeah. I think we got four reverse holo rares, which is not bad, dude. One, uh, one third of the reverse holos were rares. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Whoop, I hope you guys enjoyed. I kind of bonked you right there. Next week we're gonna be coming back and we're going to be doing that primal clash booster box that's just kind of chilling back there. So I will see you guys then. Take care.